and there's the information. Okay, so now we want to upload guests. So first off, we're going to go and take a look at the file that I'm going to upload right now. All right, here's the file we're going to upload. It's just a demo list with last name, first name, company name, number of attending guests, um, email address, and phone number. So you could have m many more things to map, but these are most of the things that, that you need to kind of check on. And so what we're going to do is we're going to map these top headers to the information in our database so that when you pull it up, the each guest will have the corresponding correct information. So when you want to save this, this is something to note. I like saving as uh, Excel 97 through 2003, or you could do other formats and go down here and you can save it as a CSV, comma delimited. So I already have that thing saved as an XLS. And I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to browse. I'm going to find the demo list. Does this file have column headers. So remember what I was saying before, if it has, if you guys have already created headers for your Excel file, click this, and mine does. So I'm going to click upload and just give that a minute. There we go. It uploaded uh, the guest. One thing to note, guys, is your account comes with 100 free check-ins right now. Uh, that's That might change. It's for a limited time. So if you're going to be uploading a guest list that has over 100 guests, then you'll need to be You'll need to purchase a package that gives you gives you more check-ins. So you probably want our starter package if this is an event for under 400. Um, I should I should say 500 check-ins, or we have an limited time only uh, yearly package which gives you 100,000 check-ins. Um, this number is definitely going up, so now is the time to buy it. Um, so just one thing to note there. And uh, all right, let's continue here. So now what we have to do is map the column headers. So this says last name, and so we'll map it to last name, first name, company. So company, you'll note, there's no company in here. But on the app, there is a spot for notes, and you can use this for anything. So if you want to put, you know, friends of, you know, this, this notes column is really for anything you'd like, and so in this instance, we're going to make it for company. Number of attending, we'll make it guest count. It looks like here was a empty header column that I didn't, quite grab properly, but it's no big deal. We can just ignore it. Email address, we'll link to email. Phone number, we'll link to the phone. And I'm going to click continue. Now one thing to note, if you have, see this um, Lena McGuire, she has four people attending. That's under the guest count. So what she's going to want is she probably has four guests coming with her. So once you map this and you click continue, it's going to create four entries for Nina McGuire, which is good because Nina will come in first and she might not be with her guests. And so you can check her in and then you know that she has three other guests coming and that'll work out perfectly. Now, when you want to send a boarding pass, if you're going to use that feature, Nina will actually get four emails, four separate emails with four unique PDF tickets on them or boarding passes, which she can then email off to her guests and say, hey, you know, these are unique uh, boarding passes, don't share them with anybody. You'll be able to now get into the event without me. So we're going to click continue now because we have all these things mapped properly. And they're in there. So now we're going to view guests. Let that load. There it is. So these are all the guests. And you notice all the information is in there. Everybody's unchecked. So you'll see it says total checked in guest zero. Um, total unchecked guess is 80 and you're all set to go. Now if you want, there's a cool feature that notifies you as the event planner when a certain person comes in. Let's say you want to notify, get notified when Lisa Wright checks in. So you would just find Lisa Wright's name and click the email that they want. You want to be notified by an email that hey, you know what, when Lisa Wright gets checked in I want to be notified by email. If you want a text message you can select this, and let's say we're going to do uh, Sandy Raisin. So I want to be notified by text when Sandy Raisin checks in. And there we go. So you're all set. Now, the guest list is uploaded. You're all ready to go. So now what you want to do is go to your iPad or iPhone app, open up Check-in Easy, and right away it's going to ask you, hey, what is your unique ID? 
And so this is the information, this is the unique ID that you want to write down and give to all the different people working your door so that they can enter in this um, to get into the event. Remember, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to download your guest list, obviously. Um, so, but this is the number, 596-480-590. So you're all set there. Now, let's say you want to send everybody a boarding pass. So what you can do is you can click boarding pass. And you can make, this is going to be the subject of the email. So you can put, uh, this is your ticket to the event on Thursday. And special message. So in the boarding pass, it's going to have, well, you know what? I'll show you right now what the boarding pass looks like. Here we go. Here's the boarding pass. And you'll note that this is the information that you're going to be able to add in into that special section. And you'll see it automatically adds in the name of your event, when it is, and where it is. And actually, here's the ticket. I can show you what that looks like. So there you go. This is what people will be able to print out or actually show on their smartphone when they come in and people will be able to scan them at the door. So we're back here on the message and I'm just going to make a, a little message that I can't wait to see you. And that's it. You'll just click submit and you're all ready to go. Remember if you ever need to get back to that uh, unique ID for this event, there it is. And also after your event, if you ever want to download your guest list, you can click download guests and it'll pull up the spreadsheet with everybody's name and there'll be a special column added for if that person checked in and when they checked in. So it makes uh, consolidating uh, all your guest lists really simple. So you can really, I mean, we built this thing to really throw away all paper guest lists. Um, so you, there's no more reconciling who came and who didn't. So that's it. If you need anything, feel free to email me, justin at checkineasy.com or info at checkineasy. We actually check both email addresses all the time. Or you can give us a call also. That's it. Talk to you soon.